Hello guys, welcome to Goodness Living. This is Sovile. I am coming live from Devon North, South Africa. So today I am at my favorite park. This is basically where I make most of my videos. I came with my son, we were playing earlier. So I decided to say before I go, before I go home, because we wanna, before we go home, we wanna go and wash the car. Before we go and wash the car, let me just do this video, because I've been meaning and I've been wanting to do this video. This video is so significant to me in such a way that I've decided to actually have topics that I'm gonna have under discussion. So if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back to watch our videos. If you are new, you are welcomed. So today this video is aimed at addressing the haters on the internet. Yeah, you got it right. I said the haters on the internet. This is my reaction on the haters or this is my reaction to the haters on the internet. So basically I always get to wonder why people are hating so much. Why would you hate someone that you have never seen like face to face obviously there are people that probably you have seen that you hate but why would you even get to a point where you hate a person that you have never seen and they have not done anything to you why would you do that in the first place i always wonder hmm, guys who knows why would people hate on people that they do not even know so the reason why i decided to take this topic is because i actually wanted to make my own contrib contribution and also um, with a spin of a christian perspective because honestly people are out there like on the internet actually to do good. most of them they are there to do good but you get these people that are always following people on what they are doing when people are trying to make their own own ends meet and they are doing good some are even helping other people out there on the internet and then you get these people that are haters that makes it even so difficult for the people that are doing good on the internet so it made me realize that you know what i also want to address this topic because i've been just wondering i know because i'm a small youtuber i haven't had so much of hate on the internet yes from the comments that i've received there is one or two that i thought that was so mean it wasn't necessary but i actually wondered why would people hate especially those that are hating big youtubers if you are not a youtuber they hating big influencers why would you hate a person instead of you having to work on your own self having to improve yourself or learn from those people that you are hating so i just sort of like wondered as to why would people do that so for me i wanted to address these topics I'm not sure whether you guys are aware of Umuntu concept. Umuntu concept or Umuntu ngaba Umuntu Umuntu ngabantu. So Umuntu Umuntu ngabantu is a saying that we like in South Africa that says a person is a person because of other people. So meaning you cannot do it on your own. That's how God created us. God created us that we live with people, we live in a community, we help each other. Hence, that's why we have family structures that have the mothers, the grandmothers, the grandpas, the fathers, the kids as a structure that creates that structure, goes into community, that community goes into society. Because it, was, it, it basically meant that we cannot do that on our own. We cannot live life on our own. So when God created man, he said, multiply, multiply and have dominion on earth. Meaning it was an indication that we cannot do it on our own. We cannot be like the loners. We have to be people because of people. We are in relationships and relationships are not created by individuals. Relationships are created by people. So the saying that says, umuntu, umuntu ngabantu, meaning we need to, a person is a person because of other people. So if you want to grow, you have to be in a relationship with other people. You will grow because of other people. Even the people that you want, to, if like you're an influencer, you want to be influencing people on the internet. You cannot influence yourself. If you are growing a business, you cannot grow a business by yourself. Hence, that's why it is key to understand that you cannot do it by yourself. You are a person because of other people. So, umuntu, umuntu, ngabanyabantu. 
meaning a person is a person because of other people and some people would hate when other people are so generous helping other youtubers for an example i'll make an example i've seen i'll make an example of this big youtuber that i follow in kenya marwa and actually marwa and his family so some other subscribers and the followers they like to give that family and also there, there are other youtubers that have been influenced by marwa or that have been um, grown by marwa or developed by marwa and, uh, and and his family and there are followers that love to give to those youtubers simply because they want to support and they love what they're doing but you will find the haters now commenting on that and saying yeah, these people are beggars and all of that but for me i call that grace if people decide to follow you and then decide to say you know what we want to follow you and also we like what you are doing over and above that to show that we like what you are doing we are willing to contribute to what you are actually doing we are willing to help you in what you are doing so for me i call that grace so who are we now to deny grace because um god gives us things like favor and all the other graces so if if people are wanting to contribute to your uh, to contribute to your projects or the things that you do or the good that you do in the community or even if it means you are not doing good uh, to the community but they want to contribute to you because they just love you there is nothing wrong with that and i don't even see why people now would want to call you a beggar because for me i call that grace i call that favor so it is the favor of god that people would come to you and want to follow you and also want to contribute to you so hence that's why i'm saying umuntu, umuntu a person is a person because of other people so the haters i really don't understand what their issue because even them they are hating and putting things on the internet but they are actually also expecting other people to actually go and watch those videos that they are putting on the internet so which means basically they basically they they also understand the concept of umuntu umuntu ngabantu but they are actually distorting it or they are actually not using it right they are actually abusing that concept so for me if i have to close on the concept of umuntu umuntu ngabantu there is nothing wrong if people are wanting to come and 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 and, and bless you because the blessings and the favor all of those things they come from god so it is not your doing that makes you people to come to come to you to flock to you i also remember that scripture that says isaiah 55 verse 5 if i'm not mistaken that talks about that people that you do not know will flock to you they will come to you because of the lord that has made it possible that you get that so i see that it is the grace of God when people come and flock on your YouTube channel or flock in whatever project that you are doing. It may not be YouTube channel. So guys, stop it. Stop it. Those that are hating on people that are doing good and that are actually excelling in whatever that they are doing in their skills. I'm just saying stop it. Instead, focus on yourself. Learn in terms of what is it that you can actually do to actually grow yourself also. That's basically my point number one. Now, when it comes to significant relationships, so for me, I'm just saying, people that are having significant relationships, I will say hold on to those relationships because it links up to umuntu, umuntu ngabantu, a person is a person because of other people. It links up to that because if, if you're an influencer, you're a business person, whoever you are, for you to succeed, you need other people. If you are selling a product, for you to succeed, you need people that will buy your product. If you are an influencer, you need people to come and watch you say whatever that you're saying or follow you doing whatever that you're doing in order for you to be successful. So for me, then I will say, we need to understand relationships. And if there are those significant relationships that will actually hold you and make you grow, then tap into those relationships there's nothing wrong with that so people should not now be jealous because they don't have those relationships relationships are key i must say that i'm actually not good with relationships there are people that are able to keep relationships from when they are so young so for me i find myself struggling to keep relationships but it's not that i'm not aware that relationships are key i'm aware that relationships are key and it is something that i need to work on so if you get to be 
in a position whereby people would flock and come from from all ends of the earth to come to you you must know that you've got grace you must know that you've been blessed with relationships and you must keep those significant relationships okay so and then jealousy so i just feel that people that are hating on people they are jealous they may not admit that they are jealous but i believe that they are jealous because why would you hate on a person that you are not jealous on they are jealous because here the bible let me just read a scripture here that talks about jealousy okay james 3 14 to 16 says that but if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts do not boast and be false to the truth and also it continues to say this is not the wisdom that comes down from above but it is earthly unspiritual and demonic for where there is jealousy and selfish ambition exists there will always be disorder and very vile practice you see how bad it is to be jealous you see how bad it is to be jealous can you believe it they say jealousy is wisdom but it is not good wisdom and it is not wisdom that comes from above that comes from god it is wisdom that comes from here on earth from these people that do not know jesus that do not know christ they are jealous and that jealousy does not come from above if you are claiming to be a child of god you need to Stop it and stop being jealous because that is wisdom, but that is not wisdom that comes from above. That is wisdom that comes from, uh, from here on earth, that is demonic, that is vile. So stop it. Stop being jealous of other people. Instead, learn from other people. Learn from other people, which, which makes me now go to this point. Guys, there is a video that I did when I was talking about Marwa that I actually... Uh, I actually like the fact that what he's doing there and I've been watching him from South Africa and I'm very impressed on what he's been doing with with uh, his own people there uh, in Kenya and in such a way that I ended up enrolling uh, enrolling enro enrolling for his masterclass I will be honest though I've watched the masterclass I'm one of those people that Ah, get so tired and get so bored so quickly but i know that it's something that i need to continue to learn i know it's something that i i, I continue to have to watch and see how he does things so it's a good thing that he has actually availed a piece of what he does on the internet for us to see so that is basically tapped in what i was saying that let's stop being jealous let's check what other people are doing so if marwa has actually um, uh, has actually uh, provided a masterclass for us to learn what he's doing, how he has acquired, why, what he has acquired. Why don't we take that opportunity? It's a free opportunity if you ask me, okay, yes, there is some, there is some monetary value that we pay for that opportunity, but it's nothing compared to what you're going to learn. Whatever that we pay, it's nothing compared to what you're going to learn. So, hence, for me, I'm just saying, instead of you being jealous, I would say, rather focus on yourself focus on how to grow yourself you don't have to be a youtuber or anything like that you can be working for a corporate you can be um uh, be in business you can be an influencer but what i've noticed most of the time these people that are um jealousy uh, these people that are jealous i'm saying jealousy these people that are jealous most of them are also youtubers most of them also are aspiring youtubers so it's not just people that are in corporate. It's very rare that you'll have corporate people that are jealous on the internet. Uh, what I've seen mostly is these people that are YouTubers that are mostly jealous for other YouTubers. So my advice to you, jealous one, okay, I'm, I'm sorry that I even call you jealous one. You are not supposed to be jealous. You're supposed to be a child of God. Better stop. If you are not a child of God, learn from those that know that you are not supposed to be jealous. I think there are these other traits, uh, traits that we have to learn, either we're Christians or not. Good traits. Good traits such as jealousy does not help you in any way. Jealousy is not good for anyone. Instead of being jealous, guys, this is where I'm sitting now. Instead of being jealous, 
learn what is it that you can take from those people that have actually um uh, actually succeeded follow those that have ex ex uh, follow those that have succeeded buy from those that have succeeded you follow those that have succeeded so that you can learn yes you can decide to be a pioneer but it's always not useful to start from scratch when there are people that are already providing you with information instead of you being jealous start being jealous and learn and move on so it's true that things may not work out but instead of you wanting to succeed by being negative being jealous that is not wisdom from above that is earthly wisdom which is more demonic if you are not aware that is demonic if you've got jealousy and envy and selfish ambitions please know that is earthly that's what james james says that's what james says which is the scripture that i was reading james 3 14 to 16. that's what they uh, that's what the bible says that's what james says that jealousy is jealousy um that jealousy is a wisdom that's with that is demonic and is wisdom from here on earth okay now coming to my next point because i decided to have these in a point format i spoke too soon i spoke too soon i think in my first video which i'm gonna pin here i was so impressed by what i saw in kenya seeing the unity of all those youtubers i'm not saying that there is no unity now but from what i've seen i've seen some kind of division which for me made me think what is happening we were all we are all out there learning because to be honest here in south africa i've not seen any youtuber that has done what marwa has been doing in in his own space so for me i was cheering on being here in South Africa, cheering on, seeing at the unity, looking at what um, he's doing there and what the other YouTubers are embracing him, wanting to learn from him. Little did I know that there will be those ones now that would now develop jealousy. And hence I've said that people do not need to be jealous. So I, it means I spoke too soon, but I'm not going to I'm, I'm not going to wrap everyone with this one blanket and say it is common for everyone there. But I'm just going to highlight that the few individuals that have actually benefited from Mara, um, they've benefited from Mara, they've actually, a lot that have benefited from Mar Marwa are very good people, are very good YouTubers, and they still impress me. But I would say there are very few individuals that have been unkind, that have been so bad, that have made us look from outside and say, hang on a minute, we thought, we thought. And this is true because even Marwa had, has had some couple of videos and there are some other reactors. I'm not a reactor by any chance anyway, but I decided to say, you know what? I wanna talk about this. Why not? Cause I'm here in South Africa. I also did my first video talking about um, how I was impressed about what Mara was doing, and then I was also uh, that I actually enrolled, uh, for, like I've enrolled in his masterclass, and then now seeing what the other people are doing, those few individuals, because it's not a lot, it's just few individuals, those individuals that I'm saying they are jealous, those few individuals that I'm saying they are jealous. So, guys, stop it, stop it. You had, you had me saying, that is wisdom, but that's not wisdom from above. So you better stop it. Really, really stop it. So, stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay. In conclusion, to the haters on the internet, now not specifically addressing uh, Marwa and his family in terms of in terms of what they're doing they doing so great and i admire them they they inspire me i i know i'm i'm older than mara then i'm already telling you my age i'm older than him but whatever that he's doing like i really admire what he's doing and what uh, also uh, his sister dim wango they whatever that they're doing i'm happy and i'm impressed 
I'm cheering on here in South Africa and say, hoo -hoo, we are learning. We are actually learning and we are actually moving forward. So, yes. So, now my message basically speaks to everyone that is a hater. It, 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 it may not be um, either you're hating a specific indiv individual, but I'm just talking about if you are a hater. If you are a hater of a man of God out there, if you are a hater of a preacher out there, if you are a hater of an influencer out there, I mean, hang on a minute. We need to build each other. We need to... For me, I always say that if something is not going to build, I'm not going to be involved in it. So, you see, even with this topic, even with this video, my aim is to build. So, for me, I always say, if something is not building anyone, why get myself involved in it? Why even say it? I can, I, I would have my opinions about things. You would say something and I would say, hmm, I don't agree with that. But do I have to speak out? If I have to speak out, especially if, do I have to speak out negatively? No. If I have to speak out like now, I've decided to speak. It's because I believe that whatever that I would speak, it will be aimed at building. We need to build each other. We really need to build each other. If we are God's children, we need to be one. We need to be united. And also, someone was saying, Africans, they like, um, Africans in general, um, they like not being un uh, united in things. It's always about, I'm better than you. If it's a country, this country is better than, my country is better than yours. We should stop that. We should be united. We should be one. Like, I love what the politicians always say. Uh, they always say, United, we shall stand. Hoo hoo, Amanda. United. Amanda means power. Yeah, my son wants to go home. So, I love what they say. United, we stand. So, like, even like now, which reminds me. Uh, which reminds me now of that scripture that talks about I, I think it's I remember now it's in I think I will just put it here it was those people uh, they were building the tower of Babel they were able to do what they wanted to do until God decided to say you know what people that are united they are able to do good things greater things so it shows that even when you are deciding to build the Tower of Babel and you are united, you will succeed. Hence, that's why the politicians love to say, United, we stand, which I couldn't agree with them more. That's the statement that I will agree with them. So hence, I'm saying, let's be united. Let's maintain relationships. Let's do good together. Let's love one another. Love is free. Love is free. God gave us love and he gave us a command to love one another. So that's basically my con conclusion. If you have not subscribed to my channel and you have watched this far, consider subscribing. And yeah, consider subscribing to our channel. Share, like and comment uh, on this video and all our other videos. Thank you so much and bye-bye.